वेलकम चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी विल टुगेदर गो ऑन एन इंटरेस्टिंग जर्नी ऑफ डिस्कवरी ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज व्हेन टू यूज अ सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ ग्रामर एंड द रूल्स ऑन देयर यूसेज वी विल फोकस ऑन समथिंग दैट मोस्ट चिल्ड्रन गेट कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट दैट इज आर्टिकल्स आर्टिकल्स आर पॉसिबली द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज्ड टर्म्स इन द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड आल्सो सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इनकरेक्टली यूज्ड This is partly because there are many rules deciding the use of articles but there are also many instances where the use of articles doesn't seem to follow the rules they are exceptions to the rule so children which words are we talking about yes they are a an and the but what is an article why do we need one and most importantly how do we use them Do the three articles a and the fall under the same category? I have been discussing articles with Jojo for some time now. So, let me have Jojo take you through the learning journey of articles. Over to you Jojo. Hi friends, I'm Jojo and I will take you through the topic articles. As you know by now articles are the three words a an and the we use these three words in almost every sentence who said that lesser the number of items lesser is the confusion this is true even for the grammatical concept we will discuss the articles we all know that the is the definite article and a and an are indefinite articles with this knowledge in mind let us look at some examples he is a singer in this sentence a is the indefinite article he has been waiting for an hour for an audition This sentence contains the word an which is an example of another indefinite article. Indefinite article a is used before consonants and an is used before vowels. Here are some more examples for you. This is a juicy apple. There goes an elephant. This is an umbrella. I am a good boy. Let's look at another sentence. She'll wear the dress her father bought for her. In this sentence, the is an example of a definite article. Some more such examples. I have read the book she bought. She has the best smile. I love the sandwiches he makes. He has gone to Tokyo. As a rule no article is used in the sentence since proper nouns or pronouns do not require articles Tokyo is the name of a place and a proper noun Similarly you have some more sentences without articles I study English She loves chocolates Harry Potter is very smart. Thus we conclude that articles are a special group of words used to determine the number extent of the subject we are talking about. These consist of the words a and and the. Let me point out an interesting fact. Have you noticed that as a rule articles appear before nouns there are two types of articles definite and indefinite articles let's explore more about them the definite article is used before all nouns we use it when referring to specific things let us hear this conversation between rohini and anita on how they spend their vacations hi anita good 
to see you back in school. What did you do in the vacations? Hi, Rohini. It is nice to come back after a great holiday. I went to the sea during the summer vacation. The is called a definite article because it precedes a noun which names a specific member of a group. In the sentence, so what did you do in the vacations? The word the indicates that the subject is talking about a particular time. In the sentence, I went to the sea during the summer vacation, the word the indicates that the subject I went to a particular place. Wow! You are a lucky girl! So where did you go? To Goa. I visited an aunt who lives there. A and an are called indefinite articles because they refer to any member of a group rather than to a specific member of the group. Example You are a lucky girl. Example I visited an aunt who lives there. In both sentences, the subject is one of many members of a group and not a specific member. The definite article is used when we refer to a specific thing or things. It is used to refer to something for a second time in a discussion. Let us go back to Rohini and Anita and hear what more they are talking about. I must tell you about an abundant puppy my father got home last week. The pup is everyone's darling at home now. Notice how the article has changed in the sentence that Rohini has spoken. Look at this example as well. They've got a car and a scooter. The car is new and the scooter is old. Here, indefinite article A has been used with the nouns when they appear for the first time. Both the nouns car and scooter are preceded by A when they appear for the first time. In the second instance, the definite article the has been used because the noun has already been mentioned once in this case. The definite article is also used when a particular person, place or thing is referred to and the speaker and the listener know who or what is being referred to. That is so cute. I remember the time when we got the pony. Anita refers to the pony as the since both she and her friend Rohini know about which pony she is talking about. Let us have a look at two more examples. In the first example, I left my tennis racket in the drawing room. The place being referred to is the drawing room of a house probably common to or shared by the listener and the speaker. So, the place being referred to is known to both the speaker and the listener. Here is a second example. The army will be here in half an hour. The army being referred to is the army known to both the speaker and the listener. Hey, guess who I met in Goa? Carol, the head girl. Really? The world is so small, I must say. The definite article is put to use when the noun is unique. In the first sentence, the noun head girl 
is preceded by a definite article because it is unique. There is only one head girl. In the second sentence, Rohini adds the before world since the world is unique. Check a couple of more sentences. The sun is shining. The noun sun is preceded by a definite article because it is unique. There is only one sun in our solar system. The Rashtrapati Bhavan is in New Delhi. In the second example, the Rashtrapati Bhavan is the residence of the President of India and the only one such residence in the world. The definite article can also be used when a superlative adjective precedes the noun. You know, I played a game of tennis last week with my uncle. It was the best match ever. In Rohini's sentence, definite article the is used before the superlative best match. Let us take another sentence as example. Aisha is the most intelligent student in the class. The definite article the has been used before the superlative most intelligent here. Finally, the definite article is also used when the noun cannot be counted. Great! Tennis is a game I love to watch. You know, in Goa, my aunt's house is next to the sea. And all day, we would be in the water. In the sentence, all day we would be in the water, the has been used before the noun water because water is non-countable. Let's take another example. There were many seashells in the sand. Here, the seashells are specific and in a particular place. Therefore, even if sand is an uncountable noun, the definite article the can be used for sand because it refers to the sand in a particular place. The indefinite article is used when something general is being referred to and neither the speaker nor the listener knows the exact identity of the object, person or place. There are two indefinite articles, A and AN. A is used before words beginning with consonant sounds and AN is used before words beginning with vowel sounds. From the earlier conversation between Rohini and Anita, Rohini says, Wow, you are a lucky girl. So where did you go? Anita says, To Goa. I visited an aunt who lives there. The indefinite article is used before singular nouns when the noun being referred to is general, generic or one of many. Hey Anita, can you lend me a book? It's been a long time since I read one. In the example, can you lend me a book? One thing that is, the book is being referred to but it is not any particular book. Hence, indefinite article A has been used. I'll take another example. I ordered a sandwich for myself. One thing that is, the sandwich is being referred to, but it is not one in particular because we do not know 
which sandwich is being referred to. Hence, indefinite article A has been used. The indefinite article is used when something is referred to for the first time. I must tell you about an abundant puppy my father got home last week. The pup is everyone's darling at home now. Here, Rohini uses the indefinite article and before abandoned puppy in the first sentence. Since that is the first time the noun puppy is mentioned. When the noun is repeated for the second time in the next sentence, the definite article the has been used. Consider another example. There's a lizard on the wall. It is the same lizard I saw yesterday. The indefinite article A has been used at the first instance of the noun lizard. When the noun is repeated for the second time in the next sentence, the definite article the has been used. Sure, I have a good collection of books. I can lend you any to read. Let us discuss this sentence. Here, A has been used before the noun book because book is a countable noun. The number of books can be counted. Look at another example. Mohan drank a cup of tea. Here, A has been used before the noun cup because cup is a countable noun. The number of cups can be counted. Thanks. I'll see you then. Have to run for my debating class. It is just held once a week and I cannot afford to be late. Okay, bye. See you then. The indefinite article is used with the unit of measurement. In the sentence, it's just held once a week and I cannot afford to be late. An indefinite article, A, has been used before the unit of measurement, week. See how it works in these examples as well. This is worth rupees 100 a kilo. I brush twice a day. She buys three toffees for a rupee. An indefinite article has been used before the unit of measurement in all the sentences. Can you think of some more? We are aware of the fact that whenever we talk of rules, there will be some exceptions. So, let us discuss the exceptions to the rules. No article is used in the following cases. Names of countries like Italy, Mexico, Bolivia, except the Netherlands or the US. Names of cities, towns or states like London, Paris, New York. Names of streets like MG Road or Janpath. Names of lakes and bays like Chilka Lake except with a group of lakes like the Great Lakes. Names of mountains like Mount Everest, Mount Kailash except with ranges of mountains like the Himalayas or the Rockies. Names of continents like Asia, Europe. Names of islands like Easter Island except with the island chains like the Andaman and the Nicobar Islands. The definite article 
is always used in the following cases names of rivers oceans and seas the ganges the atlantic points on the globe the equator the south pole geographical areas the middle east the east deserts forests gulfs and peninsulas the thar desert the persian gulf the black forest the indian peninsula let us quickly revise what we have learned today the indefinite articles a and an are used when the noun can be counted the definite article is used when the noun is uncountable and used in a particular sense a or an is used to introduce a noun when it is mentioned for the first time in a piece of writing the is used afterwards each time you mention that same noun a an and the can all be used to indicate that a noun refers to the whole class to which individual countable nouns belong have had an enriching experience sharing my learning about articles with all of you i hope it has been beneficial for you too i have to rush for my swimming classes now i hope to see you again bye thank you jojo that was very informative indeed i can see that you have really understood articles very well So children let's do a quick revision of what Jojo has just shared We learned that articles are of two types definite and indefinite The is the definite article a and are indefinite articles you use the before single and plural nouns which are uncountable and also used when we are referring to a specific thing or things the is also used when we have already spoken about something and are talking about it a second time example i love the hills the hills are uncountable the clouds are moving away the clouds are uncountable She goes to library every day. Library is a specific place. Paul will sing the song you wrote. It is the specific song which you wrote. I go to a school. The school is near my house. A school is the noun getting repeated. It has the before it in the second sentence. The girl had an ice cream. The ice cream was very tasty. Ice cream is the noun getting repeated. So it has the before it in the second sentence. You use a an before countable nouns when we are referring to non-specific thing or things and also when we are talking about something for the first time. Example the old man carried an umbrella. The umbrella is countable. Julie has two brothers and a sister. Sister is countable. Picnics are a lot of fun. Any picnic, not any a specific one. You should visit a doctor. Any doctor, not a specific one. She went on a trip. The trip was to a nearby lake. A is used when the noun trip is mentioned the first time. 
I have a pen. The pen was gifted by my grandfather. A is used when the noun pen is mentioned the first time. We then learned how articles are used in sentences. Example, so what did you do in the vacations? Da is used here since we are talking about a particular time, vacations. I visited an aunt who lives in Goa. An is used before aunt since she could be any aunt, not a particular one. The sentence would sound different if we spoke of a particular aunt. I visited the aunt whom you met last year. I must tell you about an abandoned puppy. My father got home last week. The pup is everyone's darling at home now. An is used for abandoned puppy in the first sentence. When we repeat the noun puppy in the second sentence, we add the before it. You know, I played a game of tennis last week with my uncle. It was the best match ever. The is added before superlative nouns. In this case, it was the best match. Kim loves football. Sometimes you don't need articles at all. That is when you are referring to proper nouns or pronouns. Shillong has lovely weather. Shillong is a proper noun and does not need an article. I hope most of you would have successfully understood the basics of using articles. Just like Jojo. I'm sure you will make an effort to use articles correctly in your day-to-day -day conversations. Bye-bye.